ओके गाइस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 1540 दिस प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इन्वॉल्व्स द रिलेटिव मोशन एंड द लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम सो द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट द बॉय जंप्स ऑफ द फ्लीट कार एट ए विद द वेलोसिटी ऑफ 4 फीट पर सेकंड रिलेटिव टू द कार इज शोन सो दिस इज द रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी ऑफ द बॉय विद रिस्पेक्ट टू कार ए so it is said that if he lands on the second fleet car b determine the final speed of both the cars after the motion each car has a weight of 80 pound the boy's weight is 60 pound both cars are originally at rest neglect the mass of the car's wheels so this whole uh, phenomena occurs in three steps right so this is the first step this is the second step and this is the third step so in the first step uh, both the car and the boy they are at rest right so we will write that the initial velocity of the boy let's say that the initial velocity of the boy is v small b1 this is equal to the the initial velocity of car a and this is equal to 0 so in position 1 or in state 1 both the car and the boy they are at rest then in state 2 the boy jumps of the car the boy jumps of this car a with a relative velocity of 4 feet per second so let's say that we are given that the relative velocity of the boy with respect to car a in this particular direction is 4 feet per second so at state 2 if we want to write that the velocity of car a if he jumps of the car so then Uh, he will push the car in the in this direction so the car will move towards the right so let's say that this is the velocity of car a when he jumps off so let's say that the velocity of car a is represented at state 2 by va and similarly let's say that the absolute velocity of this boy uh, is in this direction let's say that the the horizontal component of the absolute velocity of the car is in this direction right since the relative velocity is in this direction let me represent it relative velocity will be represented by red lines right so the relative velocity is in this direction and this relative velocity will have horizontal component in this direction this is 4 feet per second and this is let me write that this 4 feet per second is the relative velocity of boy with respect to car a at state 2 and this this component this component this is the uh, relative component of the relative horizontal component of the velocity of y with respect to a and this black one is the absolute uh, velocity absolute component of the velocity of the y in the x direction so let me write that this is this black one is v b 2x this is the component of vb2 the velocity of the boy at state 2 in the horizontal direction since the velocity of the boy at state 2 will also be in this direction and this black one is the absolute velocity so the absolute velocity is going to act in this direction so then the absolute velocity will have two components so we are considering this horizontal component so if if this is let's say if this component is v b 2 then this will be v b 2 x and similarly it will have the y component it will have the y component like this so i am not going to represent that since we are going to consider only the horizontal components and then when the when the boy uh, lands on car b so what will happen is that both the car and the boy they will move with uh, with same velocity so they will move with one constant one common velocity and that common velocity is let's say let's say that we be 3 will be equal to the car velocity we be so now from uh, state 1 between state 1 and state 2 we are going to apply the law of conservation of momentum which says that the summation of the initial momentum will be equal to the summation of the final momentum between state 1 and state 2 So now at state one, we can write that the mass of the boy times the initial velocity, which is v b one, plus the mass of the car. Let's say the mass of the car into 
VA1. This will be equal to the mass of the Y times the velocity, the absolute velocity. We are going to apply this for the absolute velocity. Now the absolute velocity in the X. We are going to apply this in the horizontal direction and this is our positive direction remember. So now this is uh, the mass of the Y multiplied by the horizontal component of the absolute velocity. So the absolute velocity is this and its component is this. So we'll, we will write that this is VB2X and similarly the car is moving in this direction and this is we can write that the momentum of car A at state 2 will be minus since the velocity is acting in the negative direction and we can write that this is mass of the car times VA. Now as we can see that the initial velocity are 0, this is 0, so this this will become 0. So the left hand side of the equation becomes 0. So we can write that this is 0 and the mass of the boy is given, the mass of the boy is 60 pounds, this is given. So we will write that this is 60 into the horizontal component of the velocity at state 2 of the boy minus the mass of the car, the mass of the car is 80, this is given, both the cars has the same mass which is 80 and this is VA. Now if we can write this equation is 80 VA equals to 60 VB2X. Now from this we can write that the velocity of car A at state 2 will be equal to 60 divided by 80 into VB2X. So this is the relationship between the horizontal components of the absolute velocity of the Y and the car. So this is, we can write that 80, uh, 60 divided by 80 is uh, 0.75. So we can write that this is, this is 0.75 VB2X. Now we have to find this VB2X from that relative velocity. We are given the relative velocity that is 4 feet per second. So now we can write that this is, this is the, horizontal component of the relative velocity so let's say that this is this is vba 2x so now we can write that this is this is this is vba at state 2 in the x this is vba at state 2 in the y and this is vba which is 4 feet per second so now we can write that vba 2 in the horizontal direction is 4 cos of theta if, 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 if here we have some angle, some angle theta so then this is 4 cos of theta here this relative velocity is making some angle theta so then we are given that we are given this small triangle which gives us that inclination of the relative velocity so from that we can say that cos of theta is cos of theta is 12 divided by 13 since we are given this triangle like this so this is 12 this is 13 so cos of theta is 12 divided by 13 so now this is this is 4 into 12 divided by 13 so 4 into 12 divided by 13 this gives us 3.692 so this is 3.692 feet per second so now what does this mean is that when the boy jumps of the car a so the relative velocity of the y you know, with the car a is 3.692 in the horizontal direction from relative motion we can say that v b a this will always be equal to v b minus v a and if we are considering the horizontal components so this will be v b 2 at state 2 so this is v b 2 x this is v b 2 x and this is the velocity of car A at state 2 in the horizontal direction. So now as we know that the, at state 2 uh, the velocity of car A in the horizontal direction is VA. So we will replace this by VA. So this is only VA. And now if we if we are considering if we are considering this equation in the horizontal direction since these are the X components. So we are going to consider that this is our positive direction. This is my positive direction. So now as we can see that VA is acting in the negative direction. Since this is our positive direction, VA is acting in the negative direction. So we have to put minus sign here.
by vector addition we can say that if if that we be this is the the velocity of the y with respect to a in the horizontal direction is we can see that this is acting in this direction and va is acting in this direction so by considering the relative motion we have to subtract this va from this vector so va is acting in this direction so to subtract it by vector addition we need to reverse the sign we need to reverse its direction so we can say that this is that negative va and by head to trade rule this will give us from the from the tail of this vector to the head of this this will be v b a this will be v b a 2 x uh, sorry this is this is v b this is the this first vector this first vector is the velocity of y at state 2 that is the absolute velocity this is the velocity of y at state 2 let me draw them in black the black one are the absolute velocity of the boy and the car at state 2 in the horizontal direction and the red one is the is the relative velocity now so from this vector addition from this vector addition we can say that v b a 2 x the the abs the relative velocity of y with respect to a in the horizontal direction at state 2 is equal to uh, vb 2x minus minus va or we can say that if if i multiply this minus inside if we multiply this minus inside so it will become plus so in other words we can say that this is this is plus so from from this vector addition we can say that this is this is vb 2x plus va so that will give us the relative velocity of the boy with respect to a now from this equation now from from this equation we can write that v b a 2x is equal to v b 2x and from this equation we know the relationship between v a the horizontal component of the car and the horizontal component of the boy velocity so that is equal to we can write that this is plus 0 0.75 vb 2x so this will give us if we add both of these so this will give us 1.75 vb 2x and this is and now we know that this vba 2x is equal to 3.692 so now we can write that this is this is 3.692 feet per second this is 1.75 this is vb 2x now from this we can write that vb 2x the velocity of y at state 2 in the horizontal direction is equal to 3.6 92 divided by 1.75 this will give us 2.11 feet per second this is vb 2x now when the boy jumps off the car so his absolute velocity at state 2 is 2.11 feet per second and and this is in the horizontal direction remember and it's his relative velocity in the air at state 2 is with respect to the car is 3.692 now using this equation now using this equation we can find va the velocity of car a at state 2 and that will be the absolute velocity so that absolute velocity va is equal to 0 0.75 and vb 2x now vb 2x we, we have just determined is 2.11 this is 2.11 so this is 0 0.75 0 0.75 into 2.11 this gives us 1.59 this is 1.59 feet per second so now at state 2 when the boy jumps off the car the car is moving with a velocity of 1.59 feet per second towards the right
now to find the velocity of car b we have to apply the law of conservation of momentum at state 3 so at state 3 let me write that at state 3 that will be the summation of the momentum at state 2 will be equal to the summation of moment at state 3 so we are going to apply the law of conservation between state 2 and state 3 so now at state 2 we have the mass of the y which is 60 and this is again we are applying this in the horizontal direction remember so this is the positive direction so this is 60 is the mass of the y multiplied by v b 2 x plus the mass of the car which is 80 into v b let's say this is v b 2 x and this is equal to the mass of the y again and that will be the common velocity so both both are moving with the common velocity as i have told you people so both will have that same vb velocity so this is the mass of the pi into vb plus the mass of the car which is 80 into vb and as we can see that when the boy is in the air at state 2 when the boy is in the air at state 2 the car b is at rest so when car b is at rest this will become zero this will become zero so now we can write that this is 60 vb2x is equal to 60 plus 80 into vb and vb is the final velocity of car b so we want to find that vb so vb equals to 60 into vb2x divided by 60 plus 80 and now we know vb2x which is 2.11 so from this we can write that this VB is 60 into 2.11 divided by 60 plus 80. So this is 60 into 2.11 divided by 60 plus 80. So this gives us 0, uh, 0 0.904. So VB is 0 0.904 feet per second. This is VB and this is equal to the velocity of boy at state 3 in the horizontal direction as well since i have told you people that both the boy and the car they are moving in the horizontal direction with same velocity so this is that will be 3x so now initially the car a is moving with 1.59 feet per second towards the right let me write that this is towards the right and car b is moving towards the left with a velocity of 0 0.904 feet per second so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems